Hey guys, Chris here with Ron Boots Farm. For those who are watching uh, the replay of this, uh, just going live here to talk about a, a couple of things. While we're waiting, we'll look here at the goats, see if anybody joins us. You only got 258 subscribers or so. Usually don't get a whole lot for the live videos. Well, what we're gonna talk about uh, real quick today, two things, I wanted to do a uh, a shout out for a channel and also do a preview of the workshop video, uh, Old Camp Ranch. Um, he did a workshop video and he tagged a, a few of others of us to uh, show off our workshop. So um, I'm gonna do a little preview of that and then uh, make a longer video uh, later. But uh, while we're waiting here, here's the goats, Buddy and Susie. Still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with them, if we're gonna keep them or uh, put them in the refrigerator or what. But you can see they're tearing up the pen. I did a video on this. Hey, old camp. Just talking about you, years must have been burning. But you can see here where they're pulling the wire off my post for my chicken coop. Hey, Growing Grass Hobby Farms, I'm glad you made it. So since we got a couple people here and they actually got the two folks uh, watching that I was gonna talk about today, Old Camp Ranch and Growing Grass Hobby Farms. Uh, we're gonna do a little a preview of the workshop, Old Camp, that you hollered at us about and did your video on today. And uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms, I wanted to give a shout out uh, to Danny over there. Um, he's doing a giveaway, just reached 100 subs and uh, I love his channel. I'm a little partial to those Southern Louisiana uh, folks and accents. I used to work in Northern Louisiana and even though they, uh, the Southern folks don't really claim North Louisiana as, as part of Louisiana, they just figure that's part of East Texas or Southern Arkansas. I still got a lot of friends down there. So uh, maybe we can get a few folks to go over there and check out uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms. Uh, just do a search for it. I'm sure you'll find it. And uh, once this live video is over, I'll put a, a, a link down there. But he's doing a giveaway, but you got to get in uh, tonight. I think it ends today. Uh, get over there and check out. I think it's his uh, second to latest video where he talks about his giveaway, giving uh, away a lot of spices and and uh, some roux and uh, I think it was some blackberry jam. So y'all get over there and check him out. Oh, ends tomorrow, he says. So you got one more day. Uh, get in there and uh, go sub growing grass hobby farms and go comment on that video and uh, maybe you'll win some of those spices i just ate some of that tony shasteries a minute ago we uh we made a roast and my wife likes to sprinkle that stuff on just about everything so we put it on the roast to after we warmed it up so i'm gonna flip the camera around here and we'll do a little uh workshop preview since that's what uh old camp uh, old camp uh tagged us in so this is kind of our workshop slash barn 60 by 60 it's enclosed on um, about three quarters i guess you'd say of it maybe not quite that but i think it's about 20 feet on this side and the other side in this one end the rest of it's open for now we plan on enclosing it here you can see my hot tub water gardens that we hadn't finished and there's some corrals here i think the people who originally built this raised um uh, show cattle and they kept them in these corrals. They had the same ones on the other side. There's four pins uh, They go up into the barn. If you can see up in there. I got my boat parked up in there And they did the same thing on the other side And we plan on enclosing this in All the way in fact, I got a uh, quote on some metal today We're gonna uh, probably take this metal off and reuse it I'm gonna build a cover um, over these part of the corrals because I'm going to cut out the inside and close this whole thing in and then there won't be any cover for the donkeys and whatever other animals we get so probably going to reuse this metal to build a cover over here and then just replace um, the rest of it I'll walk you around the front here in fact why don't we just peek inside over here now old camp said dynamite went off in his but you ain't seen nothing until you've seen in here if you can see it in the dark look at that it's a hoarder's delight but basically in here, um, when we bought our house, we tore the whole thing down to the studs. And so we just set a lot of stuff out here. So a lot of the stuff in the middle is, as you can see, there's like old cabinets from, uh, uh, we took out of the house. Uh, there's some shelving, uh, a bunch of cabinets. My great grandfather's uh, old pea sheller setting up there. You can see the donkeys over there and see how those corrals come up into the barn. So it's really just this middle 
middle section here that's concrete through all the way through and then it's dirt over here with the corrals up in there and this side had the same corrals but we've already had them cut out but it was the same thing on this side and then uh, this up here was a, a washing station there's like a drain in the floor and then there's a, a tack room right there so if you've seen uh, one of my other videos me and my dad we built this wall there was no interior walls uh, except for the tack room we tore that out uh, straightened the wall up a little bit and then uh, just put some plywood up so I could put some shelves over here. So I got a little bit of a uh, organized area over here that I've been working on. Uh, the tack room is going to be next. Uh, we're actually going to clean it out. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to move my indoor grow racks and all that and get them out of the house, out of the spare bedroom and bring them out here. So that's, I think that room's about 12, uh, 12 by 10, something like that, if I remember right. But eventually over here, uh, we're going to, um, like I said, enclose this entire thing and we're going to build a room over here, uh, kind of like a guest room. And I'm going to put all of my great grandparents' antique furniture and that type of thing that we have in storage right now. This will be enclosed and all these corrals will be cut out and this will kind of be my workshop, this whole area over here. You can see there's more mess, more of my shelves and stuff that I brought with me when we moved here. Uh, my old storm windows we took off the house and we remodeled over there that we're going to use to make a greenhouse at some point. And more cabinets, so... I was gonna do a longer video, but I've kind of already talked about the whole thing now. We can walk over here and look at the other corrals. So you can see the um, what we left of the corrals up there. Those came on in here, uh, just like they do on this other side. And we had them cut out. And the only reason I left those is just because they were there. And since they weren't in the way, I thought I could um, enclose those in and use them for you know maybe like a to raise quail or pheasants or something and over here eventually we're going to have an orchard and i thought i could run ducks in there and i might could use the last one as a duck house but um now it looks like we may be getting a camper trailer and i need a place to park it so i think we may go ahead and cut out at least these first two and i think that'll give us enough room to park the camper um right there uh, in front of the the barn um, you've probably seen the motorhome in my other videos that sits out front that's actually my father-in-law's sitting up there but it uh, looks like we may be getting a camper trailer and i need a place to park it so i think i'm going to cut those two out that'll still leave me the last two um here that we could like i said if we wanted to raise quail or something or do something else with them later on we could do that but i'm going to cut the pipe out of the back here and then all of these i'm going to cut out to the edge of the barn build a cover over the back end um so the animals can still get up in there and then we can use those for any kind of pasture rotation. I'm hoping to get some more uh, animals besides the donkeys eventually, maybe even some goats if I can ever get my fences done. And then all of this side will be eventually my workshop. But right now it's just a mess. Like I said, old camp, you don't got nothing on me as far as messy shop. Once we got done with the house, I just ain't never made it back out here to uh, clean all this up. So, But we made a little bit of progress when we got this area done. So... So that's it. That's uh, I was just going to do a quick one. I went live so I could just get this done because I uh, wanted everybody to go check out uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms before he's done with his, uh, you can hear the donkeys over there, but before he's done with his giveaway, y'all go check him out and sub. Let's try to get him up. Maybe we can get him up to 150 um, between uh, us and whoever else is uh, trying to push him out there with his uh, giveaway um, before it ends tomorrow. So. Y'all check that out. I'll take you back out here to look at the donkeys or the goats one more time. And then uh, I'm going to get inside and get the kids to take in their bath and getting ready for bedtime. Hey, hey goats. See the ducks over there too. Maybe you can see the ducks. What you want? All right, we had a couple more people join us. Uh, if you missed the first part, y'all go check out uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms. He's doing a giveaway for reaching 100 subs. We'd like to get him up a little bit more. And that ends tomorrow, so go check him out. Growing Grass Hobby Farms down from Southern Louisiana. And uh, hello, Mary's Vegetable Garden. Thanks for joining us. And uh, you can go back and watch the, uh, the replay, Old Camp Ranch. Check him out too if you hadn't already. He asked us to do a, a workshop video, so we just did that. So you can catch that on the replay. We just walked through it a little bit. 
to the barn and uh, what I like to call my workshop. And then, like I said, go check out Growing Grass Hobby Farms. So, all right, I'm gonna leave y'all. There was the goats, the ducks decided to come out. I'll let y'all see them, and then we're gonna cut this one off. There's the ducks. I guess the chickens already went to bed, but the ducks are out. Uh, I guess a little blurry there. I ain't getting hands, just open the gate. There they are. Maybe y'all can tell me. I think I ended up with a bunch of males. They're supposed to be all females, but at least on those uh, the white ones, the peakings, I think the curled tail feather means they're males. Looks like I might have three three males and one female. If any of y'all know, y'all let me know. Here comes one of the roosters to check us out. A couple eggs that they've they like to lay out here in the oyster shell instead of eating it. There's the chickens. Gone to bed. It's bedtime, not morning time. All right, guys, we're going to cut this one off. I'm glad you joined us. Go check out Old Camp Ranch and uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms, and uh, we'll catch you all on the next video.